Entertainment company Cirque du Soleil has filed for bankruptcy. Entertainment group Cirque du Soleil, meantime, in financial trouble. This is terrible, isn't it? Now more than 3,400 people who've been furloughed will lose their jobs. A company spokesperson said the COVID-19 pandemic is to blame since Cirque had to cancel shows. Hi, I'm Noelle, and welcome back to my channel. Today, oh man, today, <laughs> we're going to be talking about the Cirque du Soleil bankruptcy. I will give you an overview on what happened, what this means for the circus community from a circus performer's perspective, and stay till the end and you will find out what I believe Cirque du Soleil needs to improve upon if they do make a comeback. And if you're new here, I dropped out of physical therapy school to become a performer. And if you want to follow my journey, please subscribe and ring that bell so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. So here's what happened. Cirque du Soleil filed for bankruptcy protection. Cirque du Soleil sought protection from its creditors under the Companies Creditors Arrangement Act in Canada and Chapter 15 in the US to avoid bankruptcy. Cirque du Soleil received $300 million to restructure their company. $50 million is going to the employment fund, which will provide financial assistance to employees who have been terminated and $5 million will go to a contractor fund, which will pay outstanding company obligations to artisans and freelance artists who have already done the work. Thank God. <laughs> and as of Monday, June 29th, Cirque du Soleil did lay off 3,500 employees in the international work division. So this is the touring circuit, which is a huge, huge deal. And if you're wondering about tickets, they're not refunding them right now. Some of you may believe that this is the end for Cirque du Soleil, but I actually believe that there's still hope for them. I think that the Quebec government and other Cirque du Soleil investors will keep them afloat during the restructuring of their company. And actually those who are employed in resident shows have not been terminated as of yet. But even with this bit of hopeful news that Cirque du Soleil won't be canceled, <laughs> What does this mean for the circus community? Okay, <laughs> so within the circus community, love them or hate them, <laughs> there is no doubting the fact that Cirque du Soleil did bring contemporary circus all around the world and brought it into a mainstream audience. And from my perspective, whether you enjoy the quality of the shows they put out in recent years, whether you have a bone to pick about the diversity and representation on their stages, <laughs> We do owe them thanks for showing audiences around the globe how impactful and amazing Circus is. And with the closure of Cirque du Soleil shows and all shows around the globe, I do believe that this is the time to band together as a community and support each other. And if you've ever been in the circus, you know how much it feels like family. It may be a dysfunctional family, but it's still family. <laughs> so my heart goes out to all of the performers and crew who were on the touring circuit of Cirque du Soleil. And if you're watching this and you know of anyone personally who was on the circuit, make sure to reach out, give them a virtual hug, because the future of touring life is so uncertain right now. And I know that if they get back to touring, it's going to be different. So I think it is important to bolster together as a community and support each other during this really hard time right now. And with all of this feel good stuff being said, I do have a recommendation that I would like to direct to the executives of Cirque du Soleil. As you restructure your company and when Cirque du Soleil comes back, I hope that you may value your employees. From my personal perspective, this pandemic has showed how much you truly care about the performers, creators, and technicians who create your shows. And people will argue that this is just business, this is how big business works. But that's not how a circus should work. To further explain this point, <laughs> on March 19th, Cirque du Soleil furloughed 95% of their workforce in what is said to be a bizarre two minute video. And I know you can't meet with or call every single person in the company, but from my own opinion, it doesn't seem right to lay off people who have been working for your company for decades faster than you can make oatmeal. I think you owe them more than that. And during the pandemic, a group of Cirque du Soleil artists and artisans came forward to say that the company owed them nearly $1 million. And that is for work they've already done prior to COVID-19. One person states in a video that they haven't been paid for the work that they've done since the fall. 
and I'll link the video in the description box below. And in a statement by one of the artistic directors, and I've actually worked with him, he's really, really nice. <laughs> he says, the surf makes shows and those shows are made with people. And if you don't pay the people that make those shows, it damages the relationship. With that being said, I know now there is the $5 million contractor fund, but this is not an excuse that they should have been paid way before this, before COVID-19 happened. And this shows to me that Cirque du Soleil was struggling financially long before COVID-19. There are other problems within the company that I will not go into right now, but the main point that I want to drive home is that the executives of Cirque du Soleil should value the creators that they have. And I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, this is how big business works. But what you're not realizing is that this is not how a circus should be run. From the co-founder of Cirque du Soleil himself, he said, It's a sad thing because I always say that the Cirque du Soleil is the energy of the creators and workers who bring it together. The Cirque du Soleil is not a big top, it's a show. And a show is human energy and human creativity. From my perspective, it is of Cirque du Soleil's best interest to value the creators, performers, and technicians who create your shows. It seems that they are severing relationships with these creatives and a big top can't be built on the backs of executives. So I hope that when Cirque du Soleil makes a comeback, they'll put their creative team and performers at the forefront. Showing that you care about your employees doesn't cost anything. <laughs> and I'd love to know your thoughts down below in the comments. Please let me know what you think about this whole situation and your thoughts and opinions. And if you know a circus performer or anyone in the circus right now, make sure to give them a hug. We're going through it. <laughs> And if you enjoyed this video and want to continue to see more circus related videos, please help a girl out and subscribe and ring that bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And thank you so much for watching again and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye!